So this is a podcast called Own Narrative Podcast, and it has different people from different backgrounds um, talk about their experiences with the lifestyle that they live. And this one happens to be a woman who only dates married men, which I thought was really interesting because I'm like, why would you only date married men? Like, do you not want a future? Do you think they're going to leave you? Is there like a high that you get to it? And the more I was like processing those thoughts, I realized how there's a lot of people nowadays, especially with OnlyFans, a lot of women who leech off married men. And it's so sad because you'd expect them to be the ones that are the most loyal to their wives. They're the ones who are coming home, you know, and providing for their families, but they're also providing for women like this. And yes, it's not all married men, not all of them. I'm just saying the ones that are like the scum of the earth because that's disgusting. But this is her story of why she only dates married men. I'm going to ask you, Vail, when did you start dating? When was your first married man that you dated? I think it was... 2017. Yes, mm -hmm. it was 2017. How old were you? You are 28 now. 2017, I think it was 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Because I matriculated in 2013. So 2017, I was like 20s, early 20s, mm -hmm. 19, somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. That was your first married man. Yes. How do you meet this man? Okay. The first one that I met, I didn't meet in the club. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, like I told you, it was me saying, I'm tired of committing. Because every time when I commit, yeah. every time when I commit, I end up um, hitting myself even because okay. I was from the, the background, yeah, relationship, yeah, past. It was very. Hey. Okay, was so, it toxic? Yeah, it was toxic to an extent that um, I was I had a lot of insecurities out of after it. So yeah. you, you know, and then can tell every time when I try, okay, let me give it a chance. Ah, mm. Every yeah. time, let me give it a chance. What do you I, mean, Are you the problem in the relationship? Yes, what yes. What would you be doing? Would you be cheating? Like, no, I won't be cheating. Okay. That thing, you'll be insecure. Okay. You see, even when someone is not doing something, you will always think they are doing I it. Because yeah. that's how toxic the past relationship was. Okay. So, and I was like, I, let me just leave this thing. Yeah. Let me just relax, find someone who I'm, I'm not going to commit to. Mm -hmm. Someone that I'm just going to... I get in Totebella, I introduced myself to yes. Mojolo. And yeah. you see, like... But then I don't want anyone that would say, baby this, baby that, baby you are this. The main. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't want it by then. Mm. Then that's when I met this guy. Yeah. Where do you meet him? So Shanguwe Krosi. And then he's driving. Are you walking? What does he say? Yeah, no, he's, he was in the car. Mm. And apparently the guy saw me. Come shop right. Okay. And then, was it shop right or spa? Something mm -hmm. like that. And he saw me and then we interacted. Okay. Come on. And then I think maybe because of the status, I don't mm. know. He was, he what couldn't status? just approach. I don't know. I, I think I'm saying maybe because people, they know him and that oh, area. Because, it's marital status. because it's of marital status. Okay, and you know. it was the thing of, mm -hmm. you get my point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay. All right. I see. But you. I'm like, Remember, I just started. Yeah. I get, I get, I get guru or gaming. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, it's just me trying to find that mm. one that I will not be committed to. Yeah. Don't mention the wife. Leave the wife out of it. That's the type of relationship that I went through. Yeah. Don't mention the wife. When you say that, you remind me, my dad uh, uh, would say, if I'm trying to make advances at someone and then they start talking about my wife or my children or. I cut it right there. Yes, don't. I will cut you right there. Don't don't speak about their wife. Those people, they respect their wife. Don't. Just don't. Have your moments with them. Mm -hmm. If I was already today, if yeah. maybe you had an appointment for Saturday, yeah. something came up. Mm -hmm. The head office went to be taken somewhere. Yes. Okay, I'll drop without hesitation. And when now, what? I get you new. You don't get angry. You stay in your lane. And I'm also... Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay. Uh, let's come step by step. Okay, that was your first relationship. Yes. How long did it last for? Eight months, close to a year. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It was a year, I think. How old was he? 40. 
And when I how old we? Let's calculate. Actually, let me calculate. My math, my mathematics is not messy. <laughs> I can. We want to know where you are talking to this generation. Now you are older. You are dating. You know. Mm-hmm. So you are twenty eight. Which year were you born? Nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five minus twenty seventeen. You were twenty two when you met your first uh, married man, right? Mm. And then when you were twenty two minus he was forty. Something like like forty nine forty. Okay, mm-hmm. so you, I, for you to see that a married man will forever choose his wife, tell us about them choosing their wives. Hey. <laughs> like I told you before, they 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 don't abadlal when it comes to their wife. Mm-hmm. Those that I met, yeah, abadlal when it comes to their wife, they won't mm-hmm. hesitate to leave you. Yeah. Put him in a compromising position, like for example, much a video. Oh my! I get God. our cruiser. It's nice. Yes, it's nice with uh-huh. my person. I told. Okay, type a paragraph. You're going to type the paragraph, and that <laughs> man is gone, gone. He won't even say anything to you. You're going to type the paragraph. He will just t- send you the video. What is this? Hey, me. I was like, you know what? I'm extremely disappointed in you. I, I never thought you would put me in a compromising situation such as this. No, I was thinking, gone. He's not going <laughs> to say anything. Back to all. Gone. That's- so her name is Adelaide, by the way, for anyone interested. Um, when I was watching this video, I was putting myself in her shoes. She's a four years older than me. And I started thinking about how she started um, dating married men when she was 22. And that age, that age range, like 22, I feel like you start dating, what, maybe at 16, 16 to 22. That's like, what, six years? And I'm sure she's been in her like fair share of like bad relationships that have been committed relationships, relationships to men who were not married. And that's why now she's pursuing men who are married because there's no commitment. And she doesn't really talk specifically like in this interview of why she's choosing married men. But one thing that stands out to me is that is commitment is that she does not want to be in a committed relationship. And that definitely stems from some brokenness in her past that she has not healed from because she's scared to be committed because she's been hurt before. And I thought it was interesting because it's kind of like this reverse psychology where maybe she was cheated on in the past and that scared her so much or the men. Uh, most of the time, I feel like in relationships, men become are unfaithful. You know, they follow other girls. They flirt with other girls they have they like other girls while they're with somebody and that probably happened to her so because she was cheated on basically she chose to be the one that gets that um, is cheated with and it's like this reverse psychology where you're like you know what I was hurt so much by this one situation so now instead of healing I am going to hurt others um, through that situation as well because I didn't heal because hurt people hurt people and I hope that makes sense. When you're hurt, you you always end up hurting others because what else can you give? You know, that's what you have inside of you. And this woman, um, because she had been cheated on in the past, that's what I'm assuming because most of the time people who have commitment issues are people that um, come from really toxic, manipulating relationships that have to do with cheating, with um, just being used. And so because they were used so much, they choose to not be, Um, be faithful to somebody else and they choose to pass on that pain um, and be a part instead of being a part of the solution they are part of the problem now because they don't heal properly and most of the time they don't know how to you know a lot of these women and, and men don't know god and that is the ultimate problem of why people never heal and just pass on the wound to others because it's kind of like i heard this this saying where it's like you have this open wound that is bleeding and instead of closing it and letting it heal properly you allow the open wound and the blood to bleed on others and this is what happened to adelaide is that instead of healing um she was the one that was causing the pain now and even though a lot of girls in the comments were saying that she's so funny that even though she does this like she seems like a sweet person all of these things which i'm just like why are we okay with evil and i'm not saying to bash her obviously at the end of the day she is um someone that god sees with high value and he loves her but we have to call out what's wrong is that what she's doing even though she jokes about it and says it's like funny and it's not it doesn't seem like a big deal to her it is a big deal because she is causing
causing pain to families. She is causing pain to the children of the man that she's cheating with, to the wife. And it's like this domino effect that a lot of these women do that they don't realize because they only care about themselves. They're in this relationship that gives them... Um, money and attention and that's all they care about and they don't think about hey i'm causing pain to future kids to this wife that could really affect the marriage and of course i'm this is the man is also to blame like what a terrible evil man because even though she says that the man will never leave his wife and that he there was also a part where she says like oh the these husbands respect their wives but if you're cheating on your wife you do not respect her you devalue her so much that you could care less that you have a side chick because she's basically saying that she's a side chick and she likes to do that because she doesn't want to commit and a lot of the women nowadays you know it's sad because unfortunately i feel like i've met so many um girls who go with men who are in relationships they like being the side chick they like being the other girl like they get off of that and it's it's really gross because they're like i'm not doing anything wrong like i'm single i'm like i'm totally fine they're the problem they're the ones who are not single i'm single so why does it matter but this is what's so amazing about God is that we might think that it's okay as long as we're single. Why does it matter if we kiss a guy who has a girlfriend or kiss a girl who has a boyfriend? Because it's like it's, if people get off of that. We might think it's wrong, but God in the Bible, he calls us to be above reproach, which means to be above blame, to be, um, it says, um, which means great behavior, um, highly moral to not deserve any of the blame. So when, um, when you are a Christian, you are supposed to have moral standards that are higher than what other people have. And you are supposed to account for that and call people out and be like, hey, that's not okay. You might think it's cool. You might be getting your bag. Like a lot of girls could be like, ooh, like she's a hustler. Like, yeah, get your bags. Like all of this stuff. But no, that's not okay. You're hurting people and you're allowing the pain to continue and you are being the devil's servant. You are doing what the devil wants you to do and the Bible calls us to have high moral standards. And um, it's sad because I feel like I see a lot of these women who are side chicks like end up falling for the guy and end up expecting them to leave the, uh, the uh, their wife for them or their girlfriend and most of the time that doesn't happen because it didn't come from a place of love. You know, this is manipulation. It says in the Bible, um, love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth so when you do stuff like this you're delighting in evil from both the husband and the side chick um because it's sad unfortunately um this happens often and you're delighting in evil because um, everything that is um, against the opposite of what what the Bible says love is, is, is what the devil wants you to do. And if you're not rejoicing in the truth, you're rejoicing in a lie, in a lie that this man loves you, in a lie that this man wants to be with you. He's probably lying to you saying like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave her. I'll leave her eventually. But that is not true. And if he does leave her for you, he's going to do the same thing to you. Um. So it makes me sad how a lot of people nowadays have commitment issues from toxic relationships and don't actually go to God to truly heal, take a break, be single for a while, as long as you have to, to heal from the relationship that you came from so that you can build the next relationship to be so much better, to actually be God-centered, to actually be focused on who Jesus is and the love that Jesus tells us to have for one another. So that's what we're called to do. That's who we're called to be. And when I saw video. A vid this video about this woman how she was kind of like you know she was obviously telling her story and she wasn't saying like it was right but she also wasn't saying it was wrong and i kind of wish that the interviewer you know knew jesus and knew like hey um why do you do this and i think it'd be cool to like one day interview adelaide um about why she specifically only goes for married men and it's definitely commitment issues on her side and because she wants money and she wants the attention and i'm pretty sure she gets a high off of it um from you know knowing that this man is with another woman but he's choosing to be with her tonight or for the week i don't know but it's just really sad to see stuff like this and it really shocked me when i just read the title and i just was like okay this is not okay and we need to call it out but yeah, it, it's really nasty and we have to just be careful um, about stuff like this in our society and call it out when we do see it. When we do see like little seeds being planted in that, like when even when we see like um, 
cheating even if they're not married like cheating is still cheating it's still against what god wants it still causes pain um it's still manipulation and manipulation is a completely against god because god is for the truth he's for communication he's not for manipulation so even when it's just cheating among boyfriend and girlfriend we have to call it out and say that's disgusting you're causing trust issues you're preparing for divorce you're preparing for infidelity in marriage if you don't heal that wound now and that's something we need to take serious so yeah let me know your thoughts you guys let me know your experiences on stuff like this and i'm out